That would have been the Nike video debacle. Yeah, I mean, I was in nothing but the truth in a bonus spot, and then I had a trick in Lewis's spot, but, I, you know, that's not included. Back then, skate videos were all we did, you know, like filming for a video or a DVD or whatever it was, that's all we did, so. Filming for the video itself was the same as uh, filming with my friends, pretty much, so it wasn't a weird thing. It was exciting for me, you know, that I got that opportunity. I'd been on Nike since I was 13 when it just started again, so um, kind of led there, you know. But it was exciting, though. When we went on the trip, the premiere tour and stuff, that was when it became a different thing, you know. Honestly, for that video, I felt like I didn't have enough time. I didn't really get to do what I wanted to do. I had a shared part with the Otis, which I was super happy about, you know, and we did everything we could. But I really wanted to have, like, as much footage as I could. But I was battling, you know, back and forth with visa issues in Australia, and I was only 17, 18. The first trick of my part is a big spin down Hollywood high 12 stair. Um, and I hit Jason Hernandez's camera lens, you know? Like, I did it, and then I wanted to do it again, and he was like, why do you want to do it again? Like, ended up hitting his lens. That was the first time I'd ever filmed with him, too. So it was, it was uh, definitely a memorable thing.